excuse me. Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Mark here again. Um, tonight is another brand new episode of Thursday Night Presentations. This is episode 9, and shockingly, this is my very first episode since, um, Saturday, October 10th, and I was just, uh, when I was describing my, the time, the time I was going to have in Chicago for the Ricky Martin concert that I went to, I eventually went to, and my time I always was in Chicago, so, I'm sorry that I've not done, done this series in forever, because it seems like every, every single video, like, recently has been a birthday, special birthday edition, and the reason why I haven't done Let's, a Let's Play in a while is because, um, I have not, I have not had time to, uh, time, number one, I have not had time to do one because I've been so busy with work and everything. And not only really that, um, um, I have not found another game to do a Let's Play on. I have not found another game I have not done yet, because basically I've almost done every single game I have in this house. But, that's one of the things we're going to talk about tonight. Tonight's Thursday Night Presentation, tonight's episode of Thursday Night Presentation is, um, about my busy-ass weekend. This is going to be the, I'm here to talk tonight, I'm here to talk about the, the, the busy, the busy, very busy week I'm going to have starting tomorrow. I'm going to say it in order, I'm going to say in the order of the days what will happen. First off, Friday night, tomorrow night, um, I'm going to do my, uh, per the request of, I think his username is Blue Box, Blue Box Gamer, um, I'm going to do my first Let's Play and I'm, uh, I'm very, so, uh, so, um, since, um, hold on, I'm on my YouTube channel right now, when was my last Let's Play? My first Let's Play since, oh, uh, let me see here. Yeah, my first Let's Play since October 7th. Oh, I can't believe it's been that long. Which was on NBA Live 2004 for the PlayStation 2, and I did my Spurs against the Lakers in San Antonio. Um, I'm going to do it on NASCAR Unleashed. He requested for me to do, um, I'm going to do this to me last I come home from work. Um, um, but he requested me to do three races with Kyle Busch, Tony Stewart, and he messaged me the third driver. I'm trying to, I can't remember what, what one he said. But, hold on a second, I've got to find out what he said. I'm looking at my Facebook message right now. Hold on a second. Denny Hamlin. So I'm doing Kyle Busch, Tony Stewart, Denny Hamlin in three races. Um, tomorrow on, on NASCAR um, Unleashed. So PlayStation, which will be my next let that will be my next let's play for tomorrow. I'll probably request a blue box. Ah, tongue twister. Blue box gamer. Excuse me. And now here's where the good stuff comes. After I do that let's play, um... Um, cause, uh, Friday night is going to be a really busy night for me, so it's just going to be the beginning of a really big week, a really huge busy weekend. Um, I got the Spurs game on ESPN. It's also on Ken Five, which is another San Antonio channel, but the problem is, that's a CBS affiliate all the way down in San Antonio, and I don't live in San Antonio, so, I don't, the, I don't get the, uh, local affiliate channel in San Antonio, the Spurs games there on, like, Ken Five. CW35, I don't get that here. That's those are San Antonio of local channels. And the only San Antonio channel I get, of course, the NBA League, because the sports one, Fox Sports Southwest. So at least I got one. It's better than nothing. So I don't hear a problem watching on ESPN tomorrow night. Um, so that's the only time. These are the only okay, I'm the only time I'm okay watching on national TV if I don't get the Spurs channel that it's aired on. When I don't get the Spurs channel, they're like Ken's 5 and CW35. So yeah, and dirt, while I'm in the mall, I'm watching that. I'm gonna switch back and forth between the, the Camping World Truck Series and I at Homestead. Yeah, so I don't, I don't have any fear of competing in that one, but I'm actually rooting for um John Hunter Nemechek to win that race, just because it's, it's the first time a Nemechek and, and a number eight and the number eight has run home since John Nemechek, John Hunter's uncle that he never got to meet, as they were describing an NASCAR race up last night. I think Daniel Trotta told that story. Um. Uh, he died in that at Homestead '97 during which in, in a truck race there. Try to think. Who am I rooting for to win the championship? I'm actually rooting for I'm actually rooting for either Eric Jones or Tyler Reddick to win a cha win the championship. I'm actually rooting for Eric. I'm rooting for Eric. Um, even though at, at first I kind of didn't like him for the way he used to run off like a baby whenever he whenever he he did he didn't he didn't win the race especially after dominating like he did did a couple times early early at the early part of the season. Um. But then, although I did, I remember the Charlotte race, he almost, he had that while my grandmother was watching at, at my grandparents' camper in the in the trailer. This was my only visit there at the spring, like, my mom and dad were out of town at the time. I had no, I couldn't, uh, I had to stay, I had to stay, I couldn't stay by myself, I, I couldn't stay by myself here at the house. I, well, my grandparents couldn't stay with me by myself, by our, yeah. My grandparents could not stay with me by themselves with me on Friday night, so they took me to the camper. Which I usually go to in the summer, which I didn't do this year. And, um, we watched it there, and Eric Jones had that race when he was about to go and the caution came out, and he beat the last race to Casey Kane. 
my grandma and I were rooting for Casey to win that race, and I did when I actually felt we both felt bad for Eric jo Eric when he goes to get an interview, especially myself. I, he sounded like he wanted to cry in his interview. I think you fans, NASCAR fans, we call that, and I felt so awful for him. But then he kind of matured a little bit, and so now I'm rooting for him to win the championship uh, for the show tomorrow night. Yeah, and so that's going to do Friday. Now, Saturday is the busiest day of them all. Saturday is the day I've, I've, I've been waiting for this whole time. Um, I'll leave the most important reason for last, because it's the best. I'm saving the best for last. Um, Saturday is the Xfinity Series finale at Homestead. The Xfinity crowns a cha will crown a champion. And, of course, you know who I'm going with to win that championship. My number two driver, Ty Dillon. He's second behind his brother, Austin Dillon. I'm actually rooting for Austin to win the race and also Ty to win the championship. And if that would have happened, it'd be the happiest moment of my 21 years of living and my favorite moment of all the Stone 15 NASCAR series, no matter what series, it in, series it's in. Because if they, if Austin wins the race itself alone and Ty wins the championship in general, then they, them, me saying I'm watching them do burnouts on the track together, so one so Austin celebrating the win and Ty celebrating the championship, that would make me cry happy tears. That'd make, that'd make me cry so much that I'd be, I'd be beyond happy to see that. I'd actually be more than happy. I'd be thrilled. <laughs> yeah, and also, I'm having game and fight night here at my house. Uh, my family's coming over. A majority of my dad's family, plus my mom's cousin and her husband and, and their son are coming over too. Most important of all, I have my friend Alyssa Canterbury. Uh, you, I might, you might have heard about her on here in a video I've done, I've done a couple... As I mentioned during and the Bradfords, the, those that birthday special I did for the, my friends, the Bradford twins, those two 16-year-old girls I did that birthday special on Crash Team Racing a couple days ago. Well, my 16-year-old friend Alyssa Canterbury might come over Saturday. I still have to get confirmation by tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna call her tomorrow, and so we, I can make I, so that I can get coming. But I'm pretty sure that she'll be able to come. And I asked her to bring her boyfriend Steve with her too, so I can meet him. And so, my family, and also my friend Alyssa and her boyfriend, and, and plus myself will all be involved. Um, it'd be kind of awesome if, if Austin and Ty were to do the accomplishment, I, I'd do that thing. I would hope for him while, uh, and I, well, well, I don't know, I think, depending on how long the race runs, if, 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 if Alyssa's here for that, and she sees me crying, oh my god, that'd be, I, that'd, make, that'd be even more, make me more happy if she was there to see me cry. Because I've never had a moment like that in front of a friend of mine. Especially because since almost every single friend of mine is a girl. But yeah. Well, my family is upstairs playing games and watching the fight. The, Con the Kodo and Khan Yellow fight. Um, Miguel Kodo and Khan... I can't... I, I know it's Khan Yellow. He's Spanish, but I don't know. His, I can't remember his first name. But um, I'm just I'm just like, fuck that. We're not going to... Uh, fuck that fight. We're gonna, Alyssa, myself, and her boyfriend are going to watch the Spurs down here in my basement. Yeah, the Spurs play the same night as um as the fight. Well, my fa my family and Alyssa and her boyfriend are coming over, but Alyssa and her boyfriend are gonna watch the Spurs game. Now, usually when I have friends over for a Spurs game or an NASCAR race, we usually um go over there the living room portion to watch because we usually don't fit in here. And my if I have more than one friend over, um, I we usually don't fit in here. Even if it's just one friend, we don't fit, we don't have enough room to fit in here in this uh, my this is my part of the basement, my part. Um, everybody else can use it too, but if I have friends over for a sports game, that's crazy. My mom and dad gladly give me permission to have that to myself. But we don't have, the problem is, we don't have a TV over there in that section of the basement anymore. So, so yeah, so we're going to have to find Alyssa, her boyfriend Steve, and I are going to have to find a way to, to fit ourselves in this part of the area to watch the game on Fox Sports Southwest. And it, if, it, if those are all my subscribers on here on YouTube or Facebook from me, be on the lookout for a, 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 a picture of Alyssa and I, and um, maybe her boyfriend too, um, of us taking a picture before the game. And we, me and my Tim Duncan outfit. Uh, and you, be on the lookout for Twitter too, for those who follow me on here as well. Um, it's gonna be, they're playing the Memphis Grizzlies um, at, at, in the AT&T Center in San Antonio Saturday night. Oh, uh, and I forgot to mention the, tomorrow night they're playing on the road versus the Pelicans. I forgot to mention that. Uh, but the most important reason um, I'm really excited for Saturday is besides the Spurs game and my friend Alyssa coming up. I've not seen her in forever. Um, and I haven't seen her in, 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 I don't know who God knows who, how long. Um, it's The reason why I've been waiting for this Saturday to come is my NASCAR friend, you, I, all you NASCAR fans out there know who she is. Miss Cora's Light, Amanda Merge. She's one of my good friends in NASCAR, even though I've never met her as of yet. Um, her birthday is, is this Saturday, and she's going to be 29. And you'll see a birthday video for her here on YouTube for her. Has a birthday special for her. All right, here's the game I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a spoiler before I post it on the YouTube and the Facebook fan group on Facebook. 
Um, it's going to be on Wheel of Fortune, the second edition for the PlayStation. Yeah, PlayStation 1. I did that already. I meant the PC version. The, PP, the PC version of the Wheel of Fortune second edition. Um, I'm going to use her. Like every other birthday special, she's going to get credit for it. I'm playing for her. It's not myself. And I'm going to use her name. So I just want to say happy early 29th birthday, Amanda. Even though I've never met you, I love you so much. And I hope to meet you next year at Michigan or Chicagoland. Because I, I might have hot pets from Michigan. I go there every year with my dad. It's tradition because it's closest to me here in Ohio. Because I used to live in Michigan, I used to, we, it used to be a quicker drive, but now, there's no sprinkle track in here in Ohio, we go to Michigan. And the next track I'm going to after that is Chicago Land next September, which is my, which is my first, it's going to be my first ever chase race, so hopefully I'll get to meet you either, yeah, one of the races or both of the races. And I'm going to tweet this to you, um, um, after when I, and I post, after I upload it, and Alyssa, um, um, I'm going to tweet this, I'm going to tweet you, I'm going to tweet, so mention, yeah. I'm going to tag you in the same tweet, too, so because it mentions both of you. So, yeah. I have my friend Alyssa coming over. I got the fight night. The fight and the and the, and the game night I, I went my family upstairs. The Spurs game. The NASCAR Xfinity Series finale. The, um, yeah, a lot of stuff going on Saturday. But here's what I'm going to try to do for Amanda since I'm um, for her birthday. I'm going to see, and I'm going to gladly I, I share with my family. Um... I don't, I, I don't believe we have the money to afford a cake. Like I can, I can put happy birthday Amanda on there. So I've been trying, I've been talking to my mom and dad about it. I'm trying to think about doing sugar, Pillsbury sugar cookies for her. Like I'm um, doing de dedicated, um, like do it for, in honor, uh, as a tribute to her for her birthday. I can eat the cookies, like say happy birthday Amanda and then ch chow down on a sugar cookie. That's why I was trying to do that as a, as a, for her birthday since I can't do, I can't, I probably won't be able to do a cake. So hope you'll enjoy. Hope hope you'll enjoy it, Amanda. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna see if I can post pictures too um, of um, of the cookies. And I'm gonna tweet them to you and, and maybe post them on Instagram as well. Oh yeah, and by the way, so I, I'm gonna mention it right now, so I don't have to mention it. Um, I don't have to mention it in the birthday or birthday video Saturday. Um, I sent you a friend request on Facebook and you still have not responded to it. I know you're you're fam you're known for being famous in NASCAR and you get a lot of fan requests. Only if you reach a friend request limit, you can't accept yeah have anymore. But um, if if you could, because I'd really appreciate it, and I I'd, it'd make me so happy. Just go ahead and accept me on there, and it would really mean the world to me, you know. As as well, as of your as a, as with as your as with you as my friend, and ask me as your friend, as a fan, even though I've never met you. And also, be, and if you'd like, be sure to follow me on Instagram as well at, at mark underscore flex and three. Um, so I'm gonna tweet you this video. Just go ahead and watch it. Um. I won't show you the birthday song yet. I won't show it to you. I'm not going to give you any details. The only thing I'm going to tell you is um I have t I I made, I made you two versions. I'm not and they're going to be both in the video Saturday. I'm not going to tell you what song goes to or what what it's about or what 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 you know all that stuff. You'll find out Saturday. But last but not least on Sunday um after all the all the Saturday fun of course as it, all you all know the Spring Cup Series finale at Homestead. After that the NASCAR season's over. Um. My one friend, Kristen, was going to come over, um, Kristen Radke, um, who I went to high school with and I have not seen in forever. But she probably can't because she texted me earlier this afternoon saying that she's going to her mom's house and she says she'll text me when she's there. And I texted back that that's fine that she can't come over. We can share the phone over the ra over the phone. Uh, yeah, I got mixed up. I guess she had the race over the phone and um, when she had the race over the phone and um, I told her it was on. I gave her all the details like a, like a night, night or two ago. But I, I didn't mention her today in the text when I replied with that the race was on NBC. And the Xfinity finale is on NBC as well on Saturday. And the truck finale is on Fox Sports 1. So, yeah. Um, it's going to be a hell of a weekend for me. Really, really busy, too. Um, that's, what I, that's what I came to tell you, tell you guys about tonight. Um, and before I go, um, I'm going to say one more thing. Um, that, um, John, one more thing. And this is what I'm, I'm going to try to get out again. Um... Don't forget to leave me questions in the in um in the in um in in the comments of my video titled. Let me see what it's titled. Hold on. Cause I still have yet to do the 50 subscriber special, which is a Q&A. So um go to the video that's called um because I've uploaded this back in uh, mid August or something like that. Um. Hold on. Okay, here we go. And uh, here's what the video title is. It's called. Plans for 50 subscriber special and 100 video special. And in parentheses it says, and plans for December 2015. Because there's not, there's, there's, 
there's not been enough questions. Nobody has submitted enough questions for um for me and for do the Q and A. And um, I, it'll be a while before I get 100 subscribers. But I want to make sure I get I get the Q and A video before I get 100 subscribers. Otherwise, I won't be able to do the 50 subscriber special. So if you really could, I'd appreciate it. The link to the video is in the, in the description. So that's all I'm gonna say for now. Until next time, this is Mark Oliveira signing off. I hope you have a great night tonight and a better day tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Good night.